Hi, I'm Trent. And I'm Whitney. Welcome to our off-grid yurt from Pacific Yurts. Here we are a year later, living pretty modern and conveniently. We use our Ritigy solar system to power everything a normal house would. We store all of our solar equipment underneath our kitchen cabinets to be convenient and out of the way and climate controlled. Here in the desert, it gets extremely hot. So we have to have a lot of solar equipment in order to run our mini split AC units. Our mini split AC units keep us cool and they're our lifeline during the summer. Without our Renergy solar system, we probably would not be able to live in such an extreme climate. Hi, I'm Trent. And I'm Whitney, and this is our yurt. I originally wanted to live in a yurt since I was 15 years old. So we started in a travel trailer, uh, traveling across the country, making our way to California. We lived in the travel trailer for about a year and a half before we finally had a structure up to be able to live in. So our journey began. One of the reasons why we decided to transition from the travel life to yurt life was to put down a more permanent foundation for our animals. We have three dogs, Alaskan Malamute and two Shiba Inus. Our dogs are wild and crazy and need it land to run and be wild and crazy. They are off-grid <laughs> dogs. Yes, they are definitely <laughs> off-grid dogs. Definitely essentials when living in a yurt, especially living in a yurt off-grid is solar energy. Solar energy is a big player for being able to run our air conditioner. Renergy Solar is a DIY brand that we wouldn't have been able to make it out here without being able to do it ourselves too because we were in a situation where we necessarily couldn't afford to hire a full team to come in and put in solar. So we wanted to find something that we could possibly do ourselves. And we had no previous experience, and Renergy was the easiest, friendliest DIY brand to figure it out on ourselves. Yeah. The number one thing that inspired me to live a sustainable lifestyle um, was other influences from other off-gridders. Um, people who have already paved the way in presenting a sustainable lifestyle and influences in my life going forward. I knew I wanted something non-invasive to the environment. I would give um, anyone who's just starting their off-grid experience advice. I would say don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it because we had a lot of people tell us that we couldn't do it and we did it anyway. The number one thing I'd like to say to the community about uh, the desert is it is already a fragile ecosystem and because of climate change, Joshua trees are diminishing at an alarming number and they only grow in places like this and their numbers are greatly declining because of investors and because of the planet uh, pollution. 